What's up, YouTube? Got another yo-yo review to do today. This is the last of the unresponsive Vosuns that they sent me. This is the Vosun 7S. Easy trick. So the Easy Trick's been around for a few years. It is one of Vosun's original budget medals. I think it came out um, in 2014. And uh, it's been through several runs and it's been very successful for them. Pretty cool shape, kind of just a step round bell shape. Very uh, to the point. Nice long axle, big spike there in the middle, big nipple. Um, let's get into the specs here. So uh, weighs in at 65.5 grams, 56.35 millimeters in diameter, 44.35 millimeters wide. Um, and it is, it comes with their uh, concave bearing, and uh, yeah, it's cool. This one's shiny, but it comes, it's come in every shape or every color and finish imaginable. This finish actually kind of feels like porcelain a little bit, like a shiny porcelain. It looks cool. I like that it comes in blasted, it comes in shiny. Variety is the spice of life, and for a yo yo that's been around for so long and had so many runs, uh, it coming in a variety of things because a lot of people like shiny i'm not one of those people but a lot of people like shiny yo so you can get this in shiny but you can also get it in black um comes in at 20 bucks uh for 20 bucks this is quite a design and it's uh it's very nice for 20 bucks uh solid 20 dollar yo yo uh, i think for 20 bucks i still like the uh, hot diggity better for magic yo, yo but this is a definitely a solid 20 dollars you shouldn't be sad if you spend 20 dollars on this put it that way you should you won't be sad if you spend 20 dollars on the easy trick um so, let's talk about what it's good for. For beginners, or if it's your first metal, uh, solid choice. 20 bucks, comes in a variety of colors, shapes. The newest run, I believe, is all solid colors. Um, black, gold, red. And, you know, the, the gold and the red, I think, are blasted. But the, uh, the black one is shiny. Yeah, gold and red look to be blasted, but the black one is shiny. So, depending on what you want, shiny, blasted, whatever, uh... They got you covered here. Cool little design. I really like the little bell shape here. Uh, it's really a very like I don't call it like a high end design, but it's not. It's it's a little more. There's more cuts and stuff, and it's a little better design than your sort of just say basic uh, ness of it. Now, not a ton of rim power there. It being 6061 aluminum, you get a good spin. It's not super powerful. It's not super stable. Not super long spinning. So I wouldn't necessarily say this is like a competition. Yo-Yo, it's also maybe not wide enough for modern, like, competition-y stuff, but it's been around for a few years. So the design, while I wouldn't say it's an outdated design, because I think it fits into, like, the, the being only 65 grams, etc., etc., I feel like it fits into modern design very well. Uh, it's maybe not as long-spinning and as stable, um, as I would like the, the weight distribution's a little more evenly distributed. Uh, I think more modernly it, it would probably be a... a if it were to be designed today, it would probably have a little more rim weight and uh, try to get these a little thinner than they are. But it's still a very solid design. It's a very capable yo-yo. So let's go ahead. We'll throw it around a little bit. I'll show you guys what it can do. All right, guys. We are back with the Vosun Easy Trick. So for 20 bucks, truth be told, I like this a lot better than like the older Magic yo-yos that are sort of in that like $20 to $20 price range. So, for me, I think this, this outperforms that. Now, the, like I said, the hot diggity, I think for 20 bucks, I, I prefer that. But this is no slouch. A nice, quick little yo-yo. I mean, it's pretty decently stable and long spinning. It's not like, like I said, I don't think it's competition level. And uh, it does tend to lose spin because there's not a ton of rim power. Uh, so once it starts to lose spin, it loses spin rather quickly. But it ain't bad, as you can see. Block's nice. So the grind finishes on both scenarios are usually fine. Uh, this shiny, like, kind of porcelain-y one's not great. But uh, it's winter time, so my hands are dry. So I'm not really having much trouble grinding on it. It's a really nice, it's very smooth feeling. It doesn't feel like... A lot of yo-yos kind of feel gross. This almost feels like I said, like it's coated with like almost like a porcelain type feeling coating. 
which is pretty cool. Moves pretty quick because it's pretty light, but uh, its spin time isn't the best. I'd say it's probably its biggest con is that it like, tends to lose spin quickly, but it's a $20 budget metal yo yo. Like I said, uh, I think I like it better than everything in Magic Yo Yo's $10 to $20 price range. So, other than the high diggity. So, it's got that going for it. Uh, finger spins are a little tough. This was kind of designed prior to finger spins being a thing, but you can get them. I do like the shape. These, like, sort of H bell shaped type yo-yos are really kind of my thing. Response is good too. I like that. Uh, about the level of smoothness you'd expect from. Actually, pretty smooth. Even a little smoother than that. Very smooth. I'd give it a 9 out of 10. Decently smooth. Especially for budget metal. Just capable, man. I mean, if this, if you want a $20 yo-yo to beat up and you like the shape, I'd say go for it. Uh, it's not uh, not a bad yo-yo at all. It comes in blasted, not blasted. Been around a long time, so it is a sort of tried and true uh, design. Uh, nice and light on the string, which you don't really get with budget yo-yos a lot of times. That's kind of probably one of its uh, one of its, its biggest pros is that it's nice and light. So it really like for budget metals, you don't really get like nice light nimble yo-yos usually they're kind of heavy and clunky most of the time especially from when back when this one was designed so really nice design in that aspect of it um, but uh let's go ahead uh throw some of that. oh wait let's do thumb grinds pretty capable we gotta kind of get it on an angle but uh there's a lip there you can get it yeah let's go ahead and throw this on the desk and uh we will do pros and cons. Alright guys, we are back on the desk with the Vosin Easy Trick. And uh, let's take this bad boy apart, shall we? Machine quality, very nice. Uh, nice long axle. I don't think there's going to be any problem with stripping. So this would really be a good everyday beater yo-yo. Uh, especially at 20 bucks. Uh, nice response there. You see you've got the uh, just regular silicone pads. Uh, very reliable, but not grabby. I like that a lot. Uh, standard Bosun 10-ball concave bearing. Very quiet. I think this one's lubed a little bit. Very nice, very quiet, very, very reliable. Uh, stainless steel axle. Came apart nice. Nice long axle, as you can see. It's sticking out pretty decently past the bearing there. Uh, I like the, the design too. The cuts and stuff, really, really cool. Uh, I kind of think they should have given it maybe a little touch more rim weight there. I feel like that really would have would have set it off a little bit, even if it made it a little bit heavier, maybe just another, you know, gram in the rims, make it 65 and a half grams. Uh, I think that really would have made it a little nicer, maybe even look to thinning that out. But I think the shape overall is very good. And uh, I, th I think that it's very capable yo-yo, and especially for 20 bucks, uh, you know, they probably didn't prototype it too many times, and it's clearly been very successful for them because it's been around a lot, and they're still doing runs of it. So, uh, very capable uh, budget metal yo-yo. So let's go with pros and cons. Pros, cheap, 20 bucks. Uh, comes in a variety of colors and has been out for a long time. So depending on where you get it, where you find the stock, you may be able to get some of the new ones, which are all solid colors, or you may be able to find some of the older splashes that look very good as well. Very cool stuff uh, in, with that, in that regard. Uh, I like that it's very, it's a very solid, very durable yo-yo. I feel like uh, Vosun's very good at knowing their market. When they put out a budget metal yo-yo, they know, okay, if people are gonna beat this up, uh, let's, let's make it durable. Uh, this feels very solid. I don't think it's gonna strip. Uh, it comes with a very capable bearing uh, that doesn't really have much issues. So they, they kind of put quality products in and make it a very solid yo-yo for a very good price. So th I think they do a good job there. Um, the design is cool. I've always liked I, I've always liked these bell-shaped yo-yos, these like H step round bell shape type things. Uh, I think they look good. And I think they they play fun. I think they're fun. They're good to hold in the hand and stuff. Um, 
let's do cons. So, I'm not the biggest fan of this shiny finish, but, you know, some people will be. Uh, it does feel better than, like, the, there's some gross ones, like some of the, like, really cheap magic areas kind of have that gross un... un like, this is sort of polished. Uh, theirs are just sort of like aluminum, and that, that to me feels gross, so this doesn't feel like that, but... Uh, Blasted, I think, is, is a better bet for these. If you're going to get a blasted one, I would say get a blasted one, unless you really like shiny for some reason. Um, not the longest spinner, not the most stable yo-yo, so maybe not the best for, like, necessarily a beginner. It's capable, uh, and for 20 bucks, you know, it's good, but for a beginner, I feel like stability and spin time is very important. Uh, whereas, you know, if you're somebody that's been playing for a while and you just want a beater, this is a good $20 beater, especially if you like the shape. So maybe not the best beginner yo-yo, but a solid everyday beater for somebody who's been playing for a little while. Uh, really just, you know, not a whole lot of cons to say. For 20 bucks, I think you get what you pay for, and uh, I think Vosin does a really good job of getting budget medals out there and sort of getting more runs of them and keeping them very relevant. I feel like their shapes and their designs have always been very relevant, and um, I feel like they, they stood the test of time pretty well as far as that's concerned. Um, you know, would another prototype or so to like sort of tweak it and make it a little more powerful, a little more stable, would that have helped this? Yeah, absolutely. But then it wouldn't be 20 bucks. So there you go. But that's going to do it for me today, guys. There's links down in the description where you can pick one of these bad boys up. Um, definitely a solid budget metal. Uh, you know, not no, no complaints from me. Uh, very cool, but thanks so much to Vosin for sending these out. I still have an off string to do, but it is snowing outside, um, and my off string's not necessarily good enough to do inside where I can break things with it. So we will get there to that one, but thanks for uh, watching, guys. Make sure you like and subscribe. Cheers to you! I'll see you next time.